All right, this is John Wellsford's walkabout design. Uh, originally a rowing sailboat. This one's set up as a rowboat, mostly a row cruiser. And it has solar electric added to it. I'm just gonna show all the different ways of propelling it. And the first, I think we're set up for fixed seat rowing. And we're on Susun Slough right now in some of the reeds and put aside. Get us out. And with the fixed seat, uh, it's the most stable way. Um, good for rough water. You we'll hardly ever see any waves on Susun Slough. It's just no fetch. But the wind picks up in the afternoon. It can get a little rough. But other places, sometimes the uh, fixed seat is is good. Adjustable foot stretchers and. The seat slides on rails on the side of the boat here, on the side of the um, side seats, but I've got it locked right now, so it'll stay here until I release it. I can do this for a few hours, but it's not my favorite. I'm not as strong in my back. I can't, um, I can't keep this up as long as I can slide seat, but it's good sometimes. It's good to have it. It's good to be able to lock the seat times even when you're not rowing. And we're up eh, two and a half, 2.7 knots, not too bad. So to change the slide seat, just tip down these locks, which are on hinges, and now I can slide the seat. It's a um, padded rafting seat, which is not the usual kind of rowing seat for this kind of thing. It's more for sit, just sitting on when you're rafting, but I find it comfortable. I can stay, sit in this type of seat all day. It does not rub on my tailbone. It actually is a little cut off my tailbone. I don't have a lot of layback, so doing this kind of rowing, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's nice to have something soft to sit on instead of a little rowing seat, which I, I've done it, but So slide seat, I, I can go faster. We're hitting about three knots here. And I can, if I need to, quite a bit of power in it. Three and a half knots. We can't keep that up for long. Oars are some heavy beasts I made. They've got hatchet blades, uh, very soft shafts. There's a lot of flex. You can see that here, but it works for me. We're mostly long cruising, easy on the shoulders. I like the rope wrap. This is the original rope wrap 10 years ago. It's still holding up. And it's lubricated with John Wellsford's favorite uh, jar of lanolin. quietly in these oval door locks which lets you uh, let you get a good angle without catching the shaft but there's very little back and forth slop with these um, grease door locks like this. It's really easy to just feather back and then on the catch just grab it and it brings the blades back and you don't even have to think about it. It works for me. And now the 
other way of rowing, which is convenient for slower speed, getting along shore, sometimes just getting into a dock. I have these pull out extensions. Even just the way they are, this works pretty well just for standing rowing. It's kind of Venetian style. I've seen the Vietnamese do it, uh, big in Asia. And it, it's not as quick, it takes different muscles. It's, but if you want to paddle along the shore and still see where you're going, this works pretty well. And if I'm doing it for a long time, I can actually thread some extensions into the uh, handle here. If you really want to just maneuver into one little spot right on the dock or something like that, or just chase a fish just in one place, you can uh, spin the boat on itself. You can put it right where you want it. Even a little bit of wind, this works for you. The other thing is I can uh, put the oars in the storage up on the deck. And this can be at night, it doesn't take up any space inside the boat. And if I wake up at night and need to move the boat, then I can just grab these and push it around and it, it works nicely. So the last way is to flip the seat again, this way, now facing the other way. And back here we have DP carry electric outboard. I'll just drop into the water. Now, yeah. one thing I like is this this dodger, which is part of the tent. Well, boy, it's nice to have this. I can grab onto this, and uh, it's a real sturdy place to hang onto a nut or an open open boat like this. I love this thing now. I, I hadn't a thought about how much I would like having a Dodger, but it, it's a little place to tuck in out of the wind, and it's just so so convenient to get on and off or anywhere. And standing up, you got a place to grab onto. It's really nice. So to start the motor, there's a, a little dead man's thing. I could put it around my wrist if this I was worried about it, but uh, kind of speed this goes. It's not worth worrying about. And then. Engage the motor and you want to go backwards slowly or pick up some forward speed. The motor makes some noise, a little whirring noise. Lose much by going about half the current, so it's now standing about 3.2 knots. We're only drawing about five or six amps instead of the full 10 amps. And the solar panel puts out about that, about five or six amps, and it's somewhere like it does today. So I've done 30, 40 miles like this. Thank you. 
badly snagged up in the weeds. I've got Mr. Gravy here. 